we're back to the drawing board now. We're talking about something called as pass-through authentication, acronymed as PTA. Azure Active Directory pass-through authentication allows your users to sign into both on-premises and also SaaS-based applications using the same password. So I'm gonna use the same diagram here, draw a line here and call the area on the left-hand side as on-premises and the one on the right hand side as Azure Active Directory, okay? And as always on your premises, you got a domain and inside your domain, you got a domain controller. So that's your DC. Azure Active Directory is represented by the cloud and then you got several SaaS based applications like M365 or let's say Workday or let's say ServiceNow as an example. Now all of these are SaaS based applications as we already know. Now in order to synchronize your identities from on-premises to Azure Active Directory, we need some kind of a connector and we already know that that connector is provisioned on another server and we call it as AD Connect Server, right? Now when you're configuring the Azure Active Directory Connect as an application, you will get the options whether you want to configure this with password hash synchronizations or do you want to configure this with pass-through authentication or you want to use a separate ADFS server or maybe customize ADFS server like an Okta solution is something that you want to use. So when you're configuring the AD Connect, you will get all of these options and you can pick and choose one of them. It could be password hash synchronization or PTA, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of this now since we're talking just about PTA at this time. So let's just assume that there's a user called as Joe who's sitting on premises and as a result of AD Connect server sitting on premises, it gets synchronized to Azure Active Directory as well. But regardless how the AD Connect is configured, password hash synchronization or pass-through authentication, the users will get eventually synchronized to Azure Active Directory anyways. However, whether it is the on-premises Active Directory that will do the authentication or Azure Active Directory that will do the authentication, it all depends on how the Azure Active Directory Connect is configured, right? So if you have configured with password has synchronization, of course it's the Azure AD that will do the authentication. But if you have configured with pass-through authentication, it is the local Active Directory that will do the authentication. The objective of this lesson is to understand the entire flow here, okay? So the step number one is that the user Joe, who's in this case, gets synchronized to Azure Active Directory, okay? So that's step number one, and we are already done with that. Now let's say there's a scenario where this user called as Joe wants to access the application. So the user will type in the application's URL and then he gets redirected to that application. That application is integrated with Azure Active Directory. So the application will then consult Azure Active Directory to see if the authentication can be done. Now Azure Active Directory is then configured with pass the hash as an example. So Azure Active Directory knows that the Active Directory Connect is configured with pass the hash. So instead of authenticating itself, what it's gonna do is take those credentials and encrypt it, right? So step number one was synchronizing the credentials. Step number two was about a user accessing the application. So that's step number two. Then the step number three is when the user is then asked to type in the credentials, which is the username and password on the screen. And as soon as Azure Active Directory receives it, it's gonna encrypt those credentials. This means that Azure Active Directory will encrypt the credentials using the public key of the authentication agent. The next thing the Azure Active Directory will do is that it's gonna place this particular authentication request in the queue. So the username and the encrypted password or the authentication request is in the queue of Azure Active Directory. Now remember that there's a server right here, the pass-through authentication server 
or the Azure Active Directory Connect server. Now this is something that will go ahead and pull the queue. So let's say this is the queue right here, this box. So the PTA server or the Azure Active Directory Connect server will pull that information from the queue. So that means that the traffic is always going outbound and nothing is inbound. And that's one reason PTA is considered more secure than password hash synchronization. So the on-premises agent, which is the PTA or AD Connect agent, which will then pick up the information from the queue and then start to process it. So once the information is pulled onto the AD Connect server, it's gonna use its what's called as a private key in order to decrypt the token. So the step number six is about decrypting using the private key. And the step number seven is to forward that information to the domain controller. What's gonna happen next is that the agent sitting right here on the AD Connect server will validate the credentials against the domain controller. So it's gonna validate the username, validate the password against the Active Directory. So it's gonna send that request something like this and then the Active Directory returns that request and then says, hey, that particular password is absolutely correct. That username is valid and the authentication request can be processed further. Now once that is completed, the job of Active Directory Connect or the pass the hash is completed because the final step here is for the Azure AD Connect or the PTA server to send that information back to Azure Active Directory and say that, hey, the authentication is complete. Our domain controller validated it against its database and the password is considered to be absolutely safe, okay? so. That will be step number nine. I think we missed step number eight here. So this will be step number eight, okay? So now the Azure Active Directory confirms that the credentials are correct because our PTA server confirmed it and that PTA server is sitting on premises. It's an agent-based verification method. So Azure Active Directory confirms that the credentials are correct, right? So the next step here is for Azure Active Directory to inform the user right so the request goes all the way to the user here and that is step number 10 letting the user access that application and that's step number 11. so as you see there are quite a lot of steps right here but remember that all of these steps or the processes that i'm mentioning here does happen in a matter of seconds if not milliseconds let us go ahead and summarize this okay so the point number one is about the user trying to access the application for example m365 or any SaaS based application like workday the user then gets redirected to azure active directory the azure active directory then requests the user to type in the credentials those credentials that are entered encrypted using a public key and they are also presented inside a queue the on-premises authentication agent, which is possibly the AD Connect server, also the PTA agent, will then decrypt the password, will then pick up the username and also pick up the encrypted password from the queue and then decrypt it using the private key. Now it's time for the PTA agent to verify it against the domain controller. The domain controller tells the PTA agent whether the request is valid or not and then gives a response based on how the credentials were presented. So it's going to tell you whether the request is a success, whether it's a failure, whether the passwords expired or whether the user's account is logged out. Now this response is then sent to Azure Active Directory via the PTA agent. The Azure Active Directory will then look at it evaluate it and then send the response accordingly to the user account. Now, if the sign-in is successful, the user gets access to the application. So this is how the workflow of the pass-through authentication works and this is the end-to-end -end behavior. But how do you enable PTA on the AD Connect server or on any server where you need the PTA agent? Well, basically, when you're configuring Azure Active Directory Connect, you will have the options to enable pass-through authentication or password hash synchronization or whether you want to go for an ADFS server for authentication purposes. Now, once the pass-through authentication is enabled, you can go ahead and connect to your Azure Active Directory and verify whether the pass-through authentication is enabled there or not. But in most cases, if you got PHS enabled, then you will have password hash synchronization as that attribute as you see in the screenshot here. One thing to remember when it comes to pass-through authentication is that the authentication is controlled by the domain controller on-premises. So your user accounts stays on-premises 
Of course, they are getting synchronized to Azure Active Directory, but then the authentication is happening on your premises only. All right, hopefully this has been informative to you guys. Thanks for watching so far. I'll see you there in the next section.